Shit. The tower. We owe our service. Look closer at the tower with Varen and and uh, and Enduin. Despite everything, the Dawn Tower. What is happening to it? I like how they still have the cultist gear. The Harbinger has whispered to me of your arrival. That's the Thanos' voice actor. How did I not notice that the first time I did this? Where is your master? <laughs> what was I going on about though? Um What has Alric and his cults done? Oh, yeah, the, I, I like how they're using the, uh... But they claim allegiance to Zalatath. Was it Battle for Azeroth? So their lives are no, um... It wasn't Battle for Azeroth. What was it? What expansion was it that had this one? It was the... Ah, fuck, hang on, let me think. It, wait, no, I think it was Battle for Azeroth. Battle for... Azeroth. Nazoth. Because that was the old god we had to fight in battle for Azeroth. Uh, yeah, battle for... Okay, so it was battle for Azeroth. That's where we fought... That's where we got the old god armor, and I know my Pandaren monk still has this armor on it because I'm still running through there, through the, uh, through the, well, some of the, like, it's, it's this instant zone that you can run through, and the stronger your, your armor is that you have on that resists the madness of the old gods, the more, the longer you can stay in there and the more you can do and get resources. I, I have to run it to get a mount that I didn't do back in the day because it was just so much, it was this was, like, the grind back then was bad because you had so much shit that you still had to do. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, so you had the Broken Isles, Zandalar, and Kul Tiris. So... Oh, no, not the Broken Isles. Not the Broken Isles, I'm sorry. You had Kul uh, and Zoldazar. And Alliance and Horde had to go on to both... <laughs> had to go on to both of these. Uh, for, I think, Storm... Garad Valley was the Alliance area. I, I haven't played Alliance. I have not played Alliance yet. I should probably level an Alliance character eventually. But uh, yeah, like you had to go through this. You had to do your daily. You had to do your dailies in here, and it would be a thing just like I have on the other ones. But it would show you all the dailies you had to do through here, there. Then they added Mechagon and Nashtatar, which these were both uh, both zones for both Horde and Alliance to do more dailies. In both of them. Along with world bosses, uh, island expeditions, uh, <laughs> um, God, hang on. You know what? Let's watch that real quick. Platinum Isle. Let's, let's watch. Let's take a quick second to watch this. Because this is something that needs to be, uh, options, 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 options. I wish I had a mute button for this. Just immediate mute button. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. Alright. No, wait, was it Platinum or was it Cat and Grim? I think it was Cat and Grim. Let me see. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, this is the one. All right, we'll watch this. But first, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta grab something. Sorry, I muted the microphone first. I, I, I will grab something to drink and then I'll be right back.
Okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I went to go get um some uh I was like I said I was thirsty and I needed something to drink, so I ran to my fridge. Oh, I should stop putting my cans of coat, my cans of uh delicious Mountain Dew Zero Sugar into my half um, into my empty coffee cup because there's still coffee at the bottom of it, just a little bit, but it gets all over the place. And I was like Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. I, I hope they sponsor me. And my tagline will be it's like God's pissing in your mouth. So delicious. Do you, do you, do you want to feel like a sexy angel is pissing in your mouth and drink Mountain Dew Zero Sugar? Oh god, let's let's watch this real fast. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is this is how annoying it actually was in um, Battle for Azeroth. You you had to, they they crafted a borrowed power system as as the community has been calling it, and it's just it's terrible. I wish they would stop bringing these systems into the game because they're nothing but giant grind fests looking for powers. Well, not the not the armor, but the necklace had you had to go look for specific items that gave you power for your necklace so that you can use them and everyone was just running around looking for the best in slot one and it's it, it was a nightmare and the fact that we were stuck with this for the entire expansion it was annoying as hell and i'm glad i'm glad they i'm glad they finally started getting the picture and like we don't want this nobody wants this borrowed powered shit See, didn't I tell you? Nobody wanted those. Nobody did. It was just forced on the players and we had to deal with it.
That's it. That was the experience. That is that is not an exaggeration. That is one hundred percent the experience of Battle for Azor. And you're like zombie. Why do you still play this? And it's, look, I, I invested a lot of time into this game, more so than any other game I've ever played. Like Skyrim, I got a thousand hours in that game. I have way more in this one than that one, and it's it's not a bad thing. It's more of a labor of love. But this was this was just them slapping us across the face. Which is why once I reached a max level with one character and I got into the end game, I was just like, I'm done. I'm not. I'm not doing this anymore. And I stopped playing. That's what I'll do. If I if I don't like the end game, I just stop playing. I don't care if there's extra shit. And then I, what I'll do is I'll go back and I can expansion or two because I have a max level character with some decent gear who can just body all of this and get the gear faster and more. And it would take like five minutes compared to the hours it would have taken me doing it while in the expansion. I'm I never get AOTC. Which sucks, but I mean, I'll, I'll deal with it. Remember his happy boy? This is where he came from. And this is kind of... It's an exaggeration, but it's kind of true. Yeah, that's Zappy Boy. He was a uh, he was a troll shaman, I think. He is a troll shaman that people just fell in love with. The internet saw him for a little bit. They fell in love with him. I'll show you the uh, I'll show the cinematic where he first appears. Oh man, the scream in the edit because that's exactly what happened. That song was Rogue Stewart from behind from the official World of Warcraft band. Okay, so remember what I was talking about? I wasn't exaggerating. This is actually what it was like playing BFA. That's the one my Pandora Monk is working on is the Horrific Visions because there's a mount tied to it and a backpack transmog tied to it if you can get enough of the uh, the vision. It's, it's got its own token system in the game for it. You can't buy them. You have to earn them through doing these. That's exactly it. That's what I did in BFA. As soon as that shit came out and then it's like, oh, here's all this extra... This is what I don't like, is the extra fillers that they put at the end of the game. Yep. Yep, that's, exa that's exactly true. I was, every expansion, and there's the, uh, I gotta find the chart to show you, but it, it's, it's exactly like that. Oh, I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it, because he's 100% he's correct on a lot of things. Let's turn the music 